What's going on guys? So I did a little changes to the car, just small things. I actually took that touchscreen radio out of my car just because it sounded like crap. Um, I was trying to mess with the equalizer and ended up messing up my subs just because of the quality of the sound was so bad through that system. And like I said, don't buy cheap stuff, get what you pay for. Um, I'd end up putting some single din Sony in there and it sounds better. Uh, I'm gonna put new subs and the doors because the back ones sound good but the front ones are kind of rattling a little bit i'm going to see if i can find some cheap ones on amazon if not i'm going to buy the stock ones again um if you have any recommendations i know someone said at a rot audio shop said that a kicker made some for these door speakers but the weird thing is when you put these new radios in there it, you can't control the subwoofer sound so it just puts the audio in there and it it differs on how what type of radio you have but uh yeah i did that and then i took the 10 off my uh uh tail lights just because i was not right really liking the style anymore and i plan on buying some new tail lights in the future some either gen 5s or the vector tail lights uh, i'm not i haven't made my mind up yet but i'll kind of show you what i've done so the tail lights i just took the 10 off um i've done this many of times and some people might know might not know how to take the tent off tail lights like if it's a spray on tent all you need is doesn't really know matter what brand but just some brake clean spray it on there a bunch you can see how much i've sprayed on there but it'll take that tent right off you don't really have to wipe it off i just sprayed it on there wiped the uh brake clean off and now they're back to new it took me like two minutes to do all that so that's uh, one thing i did and this is the radio i end up going with i've had this radio in multiple vehicles and i've never had any problems with it Yes, it is a single den, but uh, it's quality, and I can't really find any touchscreen radios right now that are worth my money, but the ones that I want, you know, upwards of three to four hundred dollars, and I just don't feel like spending that right now, and this radio was only like eighty dollars. It used to be like a hundred and twenty, but I got it on sale at Walmart, and for that, and then I bought another single den, uh, adapter kit or face place kit and it sounds pretty good it has extra bass which turns the subs up just a little bit and i don't need to go through a whole video on how i installed that i have a video in the my other videos and i'll put a link in the description but uh, if you want to go see how to install a radio on a mustang you can go see that other than that stuff I really don't have nothing else to do to the car. I think I'm going to put some spacers back on this uh, car just because the wheels are pushed in a little bit. Like I said in my other video, they the other wheels I had were just a little bit wider because they were GC500 and these are the stock wheels, so they're pushed into the wheel well a little bit more. I'm going to put my spacers back on and have a little bit, bit, little bit better fitment in the back. Um, for future mods, uh, I don't really have anything planned. I kind of want to put that x-pipe on but i'm gonna have to take it to the muffler shop because he's gonna have to cut everything off and i'm gonna have to figure that out but he's gonna i just need to buy some o2 sensors for it you gonna bolt it on weld the x-pipe on there um i don't know how much it's gonna cost me maybe a couple hundred bucks but it should sound better than what i have right now um if you're thinking about gutting your cats out uh it sounds good for a little bit but there's so much noise in the car because you know you have all that sound from the engine going into a big can that's hollowed out and then it goes to the back of your exhaust so it's a little bit louder but i hear more of the sound in the front of the car and i thought i had an exhaust leak and i took to him and he said there's no exhaust leak so uh, i'm thinking it's just echo in that actual can of that catalytic converter because it's pretty large for not to have anything in it it's like having a muffler with no chambers in it it sounds kind of like crap if it's not going through a straight pipe so i'm gonna do that um maybe this week or the next week but i'll keep y'all updated on that and then really that that's all i'm doing right now but other than that i'm gonna probably order something for the car i really want to get a deck lid panel for this car but i'm kind of waiting off because i'm wanting to save money for some new tail lights and I might end up going to a different route with the spoiler. I think I kind of want to get the 
MMD duckbill spoiler and it's a little bit more aggressive and it's taller and I can buy it painted for like $120 off of American Muscle. So I'm, I might do that. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at right here. And I'm going to finish installing these taillights. I'll give you, I'll give you a little time lapse of it. So before I start jacking up the car and working on the spacers, I was going to show you one thing that I did, and y'all probably seen it before if y'all watch Nate Rider. I went ahead and did that to my emblem. I didn't really get all the black off. I'm still working on them. I buff it out and make it shine, but mine was all scratch of and beat up, and I can't find that GT one that a lot of three valve owners have, but I can't find them anymore on eBay or Amazon or anywhere. So I went ahead and just did that, and I'm going to go ahead and start jacking up the car. Putting the spacers on, I'll update y'all. So I got one side of the spacers on and it's sitting about flush. I mean, it's sticking out just a hair, but I can adjust my pan hard bar, maybe push that a little bit in if that side's sticking out too far. But yeah, pretty simple. This is what I'm using right here. It's just a one and a half inch spacer off Amazon. Um, all the ones on uh, American Muscle are sold out. They've been sold out for like probably like a year now so let's go on amazon just find one that has good reviews good quality and uh those are only about 45 dollars, so pretty cheap and that's before and that's the after so it makes it stick out quite a bit uh once i get new tires on this which i will eventually because these tires are pretty shot and uh, when we drive that big long drive to Gatlinburg, we're gonna need new tires anyway. So I'm gonna put all new tires, probably put 255 square set up. Maybe go a little bit less taller of a tire, go like uh, 245 or 255, 45 instead of a 50 and uh, see what that does. But I'm gonna get the other side on and then we can see the reveal. I mean, this might be my only opinion, but I think it looks way better put the spacers on this one is sticking out a little bit more and I might need to have to adjust my pan hand bar but this one's already close to sticking out so I think it's off by like maybe like an eighth or a quarter inch I'm not going to worry about it right now because it it does not look bad at all it's almost even so yeah Put spacers on didn't really need to show you how to do it you just take the wheel off put the spacer on put the spacer on put the wheel back on in my instance i made these ramps because my car is too low to get my jack underneath my axle and that's how you put spacers on um i was gonna do a whole tutorial on that but i mean all i'd have to do is take my wheel off and put my wheel on that's basically the tutorial so uh yeah so that's uh basically what it looks like right now so that's going to be it for this video. It's going to be a short video. I uh, just want to get some content out there. I'm trying to get a video each week, like I told y'all. Um, yeah, I got the spacers on. Got the taillights back to red for now. Those taillights are going to be on there for now, but I'm probably going to switch them up to either Gen 5s, uh, the Vector taillights, or I don't see anybody going this route, but with like the kind of Coyote style. I kind of like those, but they're just stock with the white in the center. But I kind of like that because nobody's going for that. So if I do do that, um, it'll be something different. But uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe. Uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.